Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to figure out what the real problem is. And I'm going to give you an example of this, and it's one that we visited earlier. And it happens to deal with the fact that our wings are swept, they have a high amount of dihedral, which of course basically means that when we impose a yaw into the airplane, we actually end up with a roll. Now, in the case of a single engine go around, if you apply thrust and we induce a yaw, which later on induces a roll, is your problem a roll problem or is your problem a yaw problem? Okay, of course the root issue that you actually have is that this is a yaw problem. Even though you're rolling, it is truly a yaw problem. So of course you would need to correct the axis with the primary flight control surface, which would be your rudder. Now, the way that I've seen this situation spiral further out of control in sim events is that the roll axis is, is first targeted to be corrected, which results in flight spoilers being lifted on the upward moving wing. And therefore, we are flying uncoordinated. We're rolling away out of tolerances, PTS tolerances, practical test standards. And now we are also minimizing or reducing the aircraft's ability to fly away from the ground because we have flight spoilers coming up. This is one example where the identification of what axis is truly the one that needs to be corrected.